Tate, I don't know if you guys know Andrew Tate's been going super viral on like you know um, TikTok. He, he's he's a very charismatic, amazing type of person, and I'm here to definitely declare this. And whether y'all want to admit it or not, get mad all you want. Now this manosphere thing, which you know, um, you know, I've definitely commented on a bunch of times. Since Kevin Samuels died, there hasn't been anyone to kind of pick up that role. I'm telling you now the replacement for Kevin Samuels, which he's not like Kevin Samuels, so let's be very clear. I think the Kevin Samuels way of approach was only unique for Kevin Samuels because he's Kevin Samuels, God rest his soul. But from this manish fear who kind of shares some shared mentalities and thinking, Andrew Tate is the guy. I'm going to tell you why he's the guy. And there's nobody close. He has shown it's more than talk. It's about action. It's about lifestyle. It's about putting all these things together. He looks the part. He fucking, we see him interacting with women. We see the fucking abundance. Oh, this is my lawyer calling right now. Watch. They definitely call it. Watch this. Hold on. I, I got to mute him. I got to mute him. I got to mute him. Hold on. Hello? All right, this guy on the shit, okay? He's trying to make sure we good for court. He's trying to make sure everything is good. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I got to pop up into court in a few seconds. But still, I, I just want to say, by the way, salute to Andrew Tate. I interviewed him, and salute to my, my guy Fresh from Fresh and Fit. He, he actually introduced me. But um, for, for those people who care about this quote-unquote managed fear, and I love, I, I, I like trolling, y'all, just because, like, y'all really – Y'all are, like, so fucking self-obsessed. But for the audience of this, let me tell you, Andrew Tate's a guy. I'm going to just be honest with you, right? Um, and I'm going to tell you how he became the guy. He just had some fucking charisma. You get what I mean? If you wonder what separated people like Kevin Samuels from the bunch, is that if you don't have charisma, if you don't have that thing that people could see as a regular person, bro, it's not going to, it ain't going to work. And for better or for worse, I think number one, he has a lot of like, you know what I mean? I think he, 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 um, he says all the right things and like he goes viral all the time, but I watched him on like a dating show. He was dating with, like, it was with some girl and the nigga was just smooth, bro. I'm telling you, like, yo, it, it's crazy. This is for everybody in the man's fair. I don't care who, big, small, everybody. You see what just being fucking smooth gets you? Like, most of y'all, y'all are, like, just too textbook with it. Y'all are, like, bro, go out there and go date some bitches and fuck some hoes and, like, just be cool with it, bro. Like, people go fuck with it. That's what Andrew Tate is. Tate is a nigga, bro. A Aiden Ross broke his all-time stream record. 280,000 people tuned in to watch Tate with his shirt off talk to a bunch of porn stars and just, like, talk 
to him about being a man, right? And I, and I guess uh, maybe it's not the manosphere, but 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 I put Tate into the self improvement because when he talks, he tells niggas like, "Yo, man, hit the gym, do like get better, like all that type of shit." But um, I'm proud of what Andrew Tate has become. You know, he is definitely, um, he's definitely the guy right now, and I think he's smart for it. So salute to him. I think Aiden Ross was was really smart in getting him on. I didn't even know people knew about Andrew Tate that much. But I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you how much I knew Tate was popping recently. Not only because of TikTok. I did a podcast with Tate on Off the Record months ago. For the last three weeks, consistently, that podcast I did months ago is within the top five episodes, at least statistically, of Off the Record for the last three weeks. And, and it goes by week by week. So it's an old ass podcast I did with Tate, but people want any piece of him just because the motherfucker is cool, bro. You know what I mean? So I, I like the only advice I would give to people is like, you know, um, not even advice. Tate's just a guy. So, you know, salute to him. And I'm happy for his success. Happy for his success. All right. Yeah, that's the top G right there, man. And and, and I guess the, the takeaway is that I don't think he's taking over for Kevin Samuels. But he has his own lane, and the only thing him and Kevin Samuel share is the fact that they're smooth, bro. It's all about being smooth, okay? Kevin Samuels, he was an old nigga doing what he was doing, but, bro, he was smooth talking to them bitches, bro. Like, I could see, nigga, I watched him in Britney Renner, bro. And also, for some of y'all, like, you know, because I, I be reading my comments and DMs. I don't even know why you little Manosphere geeks be, like, trying to, like, hit me up. Or like trying to argue with me. Let me also say this about all these little. Because some of y'all be acting like this is a religion. Kevin Samuels and also Andrew Tate. They know how to code switch. Some of y'all y'all think this is like a military. No it's fucking not. Okay both of these niggas. I saw Andrew Tate talking to a transsexual. I think. Or a transgendered individual. Code switch. He wasn't on his normal shouting like yo that's not. That's her up. No, no, he was cool with it. Like, yo, smooth. You feel me? I've watched, like, everybody didn't think that, you, you, you know when Kevin Samuels broke through? Once he code switched with Nikki, like, yeah, he wasn't talking to Nikki like the regular bitches. Code switch. Smooth. Then he got in a future video. Smooth, bro. You feel me? So I say that to say, for most of you little manosphere niggas who be DMing me all the time trying to argue about shit I say, which I don't give a fuck what you say. The people who are winning are the motherfuckers who have intangibles. So all the shit y'all talking about, y'all learn. No, no. Oh, man, this and woman, this. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Learn how to be fucking smooth and not socially fucking awkward. You socially awkward motherfuckers will just never win at life. Socially awkward niggas, you can't learn that in a book. There's no rules to help you. You can't just magically become Kevin Samuels or Andrew Tate. Fucking be around some people. Learn learn how to talk to some chicks. Learn how to talk to people other than like you're repeating fucking shit. And you'll be good. Salute to that guy. Anyway. Um, oh, the next thing, and I 